Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katie and today I am filming my first update for my Pam That palette. If you're interested, just keep on watching. Okay guys, I have a really exciting update. Um, I did keep track of my uses and if you didn't watch the intro, I am working on my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. And I set some usage goals for the shades I was focusing on. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it shade by shade. The first shade I was working on is Almond Truffle. And I wanted to use that eight times. And I actually used it nine times. And I did actually hit pan on it. It's very little tiny tiny pan, but it's right there. The camera doesn't pick it up that well. But I did hit my uses goals on that one and my goal to pan that one. Um, I'll still use that shade, but I'm not going to be focusing on that one. Um, the next shade I was working on is Satin Sheets and I wanted to use that one 10 times. And I actually used that one 26 times. Um, and it took 26 times to hit pan on it. I was so close to hitting pan on it that I stretched filming this video out uh, by a few days so I could get a couple more uses to hit pan on. And this is what this looks like. It's a pretty good size pan. Um, I had a huge dip going in this corner. So that is what this shade looks like, and I'm so excited to have pan on that one. I swear that the pan in these bigger shades are also deeper than the ones on the other shades too. So that took a lot of work, but I really love that shade. I used it mostly as a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight. Um, and then I did use it a couple times as a lid shade, which I also like. It actually is more gold than you would think looking at the pan. It looks pretty pink, but it really shows up more gold. And then I used it like once as a highlight. The next shade I was working on is Sprinkles. And I wanted to use it four times, and I ended up using it 14 times. And it's this light pink shade. There's a little bit of a dip going in that. Um, but as you can see, I did not hit pan yet. And I am going to continue focusing on that for, my, for the next two months. The next shade I have is Molasses Chips. And I wanted to use that eight times, and I did. And I also hit a little baby pan in this shade. The shimmer shades, for the most part, besides this one, or are more softly pressed than the matte. The camera's not picking it up, but there's a little baby pan there. And um, so yeah, I think it'll be easier to hit pan definitely on the shimmers than the mattes. Um, but yeah, I, I really like that shade, and again, it's a shade the shades I already hit pan on, I'll continue to use, but I'm just not going to be focusing on it. The next shade I was working on is Cashew Chew. My goal is to use that one four times, and I actually used it 13 times. And it looks like this. This one is so, so hardly pressed, and you don't get a lot of payoff with it. It really doesn't show up. So how I was using it was basically as a lid sh setting shade when I was doing pink looks. But um, I'm kind of working on another shade you'll see later that's a lid setting shade. So I think I'm actually not going to focus on this shade. I don't like it that much. And it's so hardly pressed, it's going to take forever. And if I keep using that shade, it's going to take me longer to hit pan on the other lid setting shade in this palette. So I'm actually going to roll this shade out from what I'm focusing on and roll in a different shade, which I'll show you at the end. The next shade I was focusing on is Cafe Olay. I wanted to use that eight times, and I used it eight times. 
and this is what this one looks like. It's a really pretty silver color with some sparkles in it. There's a little bit of a dip going, um, and it is a more soft shadow than the mattes. I'm hoping that I can hit pan in this by the next update, but I've been enjoying that shade a lot. The next shade I've been working on is Mocha. I wanted to use that eight times and I used it 14 times. Still no pan on this one, um, but it looks like this. It's just a really nice brown, cool, cool tone brown transition shade. There is a little bit of a dip going. And again, this is something a shade that I would really like to hit pan on by the next update. And then the last shade I was focusing on is Divinity. And that is the lid shed setting shade. It's a white shade. And I like this one, like a cream white shade. And I like this one better than the Cashew Chew shade. Um, I wanted to use that one 10 times and I used it 22 times. It's gonna take forever to hit pan in this shade because it's such a big shade and it's also a matte which is hard like a pretty hardly pressed matte you really can't see like hardly any progress in it and I know from panning the original Too Faced chocolate bar last year that it took me forever to hit pan on this larger lid setting shade but I still want to focus on that so that's pretty much my update. I did keep track of the other shades. Um, I did use Malted six times, which is this shade right here. I did drop my palette, so part of the shade is already gone. But mostly I used it as a liner or sometimes to deepen up. But recently I started using it in my brows. And I have it in my brows today. And this is actually the shade I'm rolling in to replace the Cashew Chew because I've really been liking it in my brows. So I am going to roll that in as a shade to focus on. The next shade, Cotton Candy, I only used twice. Um, it's this mid-tone pinky color. Again, not a shade I'm focusing on. The next one um, is Bordeaux. And I used that one nine times. And it's just this darker brown that I used to deepen up the outer corner. There's no progress on this. It's so hardly pressed and I used so little of it. Again, not a shade I'm focusing on, but I just thought it'd be fun to keep track. The next one, Black Current, I used three times. Mostly as a liner. And this is what this one looks like. It is this glittery purple shade. Um, I don't like this shade that much, and again, obviously no progress. Um, the next one is Dark Truffle. I used that one four times, mostly as um, a liner. And that's what that one looks like. The next shade is Pecan Praline. I only used that once. This one has a little tiny dip going in it from previous use, but I found that I actually don't really like that shade either. The next shade, Totally Fetch, I used three times, which is the pink shade right here. It does not show up this dark on the eye, so it is easier to use than you might think. The next, the last shade I have is Earl Grey, and I used that one three times, uh, mostly as a liner. Okay, so that is pretty much the update. I did tally together the total amounts of uses. So the shades that I was focusing on hitting pan on, when I add them all together, um, I used a total of 114 times in the last two months. And then when I add the other use of the shades I wasn't focusing on, it totals to 145 uses. So I'm really excited um, about those numbers. It was really fun to keep track, so I'm going to keep doing that. Um, so yeah, I've definitely got a lot of use out of this and I have really enjoyed working on it. So this is what it looks like as a total. I'd really like to hit um, two or three more pans by the next update, which would be awesome because I am doing updates every two months. Um, but yeah, so I'll talk about some goals for the next time. 
Um, right now I'm only focusing on five shades because I did hit pan in three of the ones that I was focusing on. And initially my goal, I said I wanted to try to hit pan in eight shades. So right now I am focusing still on sprinkles, which is that light pink shade right here. And I want to use that one 12 times by the next update. The next shade I'm working on that I'm rolling in new for this time is Malted. I want to use that one 12 times by the next update. The next one is Cafe Olay, which is that sh silver shade. I want to use that eight times again by the next update. I love to hit pan in this. I don't know if I can do it with just eight more uses, but we'll see. It is a softer shade, and I do use it all over the lid, so I'm using it more than some other shades when I use it. The next shade I'm focusing on is Mocha, and I want to use that one 10 times, and it's that cool tone brown transition-like shade. And then the last shade I'm focusing on is Divinity, which is that matte cream, the large shade. And I want to use that at least 15 times. And again, I'm gonna keep use track of the other shades I use, um, my usage on those two. But yeah, I'm very excited. I'm really enjoying using this. And I'm really happy that I have three pans, even though Two of them are pretty tiny pans, but maybe I can try to also expand those pans um, within the next two months. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my update. Um, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm doing some other project pans, and so you can see my second update on this palette. But yeah, that is all I have. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.